today I'm going to do my favorite beauty products of 2010 because guess what? It's 2011. Isn't that weird? It's a whole year and that's just weird. I don't yeah, I'm going to go through everything beauty product wise that I've been loving in 2010. So yeah. Okay, so the first product that was one of my most staple items of 2010 was Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. Okay, this is their basic black, whoop, drop the lid, basic black eyeliner. There's like barely any left of it. It's like all on the edges now. And um, I've been using it for this whole year and I found that I have fallen in mad head over heels love with this stuff. Like it's one of my favorite things I've gotten from MAC and I can't get enough of it. So Black Track Fluid Line, definitely one of my 2010 top favorite beauty products. My next beauty product I have to talk about and say is one of my favorites of 2010 is actually a makeup brush and this is from MAC and this is the MAC 217 brush. You guys have probably all seen this. It's their blending eye brush. Um, it's also a basic eye brush. It's really easy to use and it's probably one of my favorites of 2010 because I've used it in every single eye tutorial I think I've done because it's just like the best eyeshadow brush I've ever, like literally be, that I've ever had. Like it's my favorite one I've ever got. Okay, so my next favorite is definitely Lancome's um, Definicil's Precious Cells Mascara. This came out maybe mid-year, I can't really remember, but um, it has been my staple mascara from near the middle of this year to the end. I still use it every single day without fail. It's my favorite mascara I have ever gotten and I can't get enough of it. Um, I don't know why, it's just such a good formula. Um, it grows your lashes out beautifully and it's just it's a really, really great mascara. Like seriously, it's my favorite. So yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites of this year for sure. Okay, so my next favorite of 2010 is my NARS kit. And as you guys know, I got this at the beginning of this fall or maybe the beginning, at the end of August? I can't remember, but anyway, it's hard for me to stick with things for a full year. So this is kind of my newfound love at the middle of the year. So this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer and Orgasm Blush Palette kind of thing. I mean, even though I got them halfway through, they seriously would have been my favorites from the beginning if I had gotten them then. So that's my favorites of 2010. Another favorite of 2010 is the Life's a Breeze Lip Pencil from MAC. And this came out in their Beach Collection. To the Beach Collection, yeah. And um, as you guys know, this came out at the beginning of the summer or midsummer this year. And um, it's just like a really pretty baby kind of pink color lip liner. And I love this lip liner so much. It's the only lip liner I've ever liked. I don't love lip liners at all. I never use them. The only one that I use all the time is this one. Whenever I'm wearing anything, I'm always wearing this one underneath. It looks so pretty and I have never liked a lip liner as much as I like this one. So that's definitely a favorite of 2010 for sure. Okay, so my favorite nail polish of 2010 has been Rumpel's Wiccan by OPI, and this came out in their Shrek collection. Beautiful lavender color, and I'd have to say this is the one color that I've worn year-round. I wore it so much during the summer. I wore it so much during the fall. Like, I have never not worn an... I have never worn a nail polish as much as this one throughout the year. Like, this has been my favorite nail polish of all time so far, because this is just... Such a great color, it makes you look tan in the summer, it doesn't make you look washed out in the winter, it's just great. I love it. Her perfume of 2010 still is Burberry Beat. This is my favorite perfume I have ever, ever owned. It's just, I don't know, it's my favorite scent, it reminds me of Christmas every single year and I can't get enough of it. It's my favorite smell I've ever smelt. I just, it's like heaven to me. I love this smell. So, this is my favorite of the year, this is my favorite of last year and it, I don't think it'll ever like not be in my favorites because this is this the best perfume in the whole wide world so that's Burberry Beat. Oh, my favorite skincare product of 2010 was kind of a shocker for me because I never thought I would actually like this brand let alone their skincare products um, but my favorite skincare product of this year has been the Tea Tree Water by Lush. Um, I got a little bottle of this before and I had to get a new bottle because this stuff is amazing. Um, it has I don't know what it has in it. It has like tea tree oil, grapefruit, juniper, and um, it's supposed to help you reduce your pores and it's great for normal to oily skin. And I must say that it has been my favorite toner I have ever used. It's my favorite skincare product I've ever used. I honestly cannot get enough of this stuff. It's it just, it's the best. It's the best I've ever tried. So this is definitely one of my favorites of 2010. 
My favorite eyeshadow palette of 2010 is my Glamour Revolution palette by Too Faced. Um, I got this last year for Christmas and I have been using it all year round. It's all of these colors right here. You get nine of them. And I probably use this bottom row the most and this middle row. Um, I sometimes use everything in between, but for the most part I do these really colorful ones and then do these. Um, the, it has been my favorite eyeshadow palette to play around with. The colors are so pigmented and it's just an amazing palette. So this has been definitely one of my favorites of 2010. Okay, so you guys can probably guess this, but my favorite lip gloss of 2010 has been Smile Dazzle Glass because I don't know if you guys realize this, but I talk about this probably every other video. Um, I used to talk about it all the time in summer and I was like, I need to stop talking about this because I will get obsessed with this thing because I already did. Um, I got to the point where I took out the stopper in it so I could get every single last bit of it. I got an extra one of it, did the same thing with it, and I'm going back because I need to get about four more of these because I used them up like nobody's business. So that is my favorite lip gloss of 2010. And it is the best peachy, beautiful, flatters every skin tone lip gloss I've ever had. It's just the best. So yeah, that's my favorite lip gloss of 2010. So lastly, my favorite eyeshadow of 2010 has definitely been Plum Dressing by MAC. Um, it may not look like it, but I have been using this probably once a week for this whole year. So yeah, that's my favorite eyeshadow of 2010 because it's just so versatile, I love it, and it's a really, really great color, especially if you have blue or green eyes or brown eyes, it's really universal. And so, I don't know, it's just a really, really great color, I love it. So yeah, those are my favorites of 2010. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I wanna hear about your favorites, and there's lines on my faces and I hate that. But um, yeah, I wanna hear about your favorites, and I hope you guys had an awesome year this year. By the way, I want to say thank you to you guys because guess what? I got to 30,000 subscribers last night. So thank you guys so much for getting me that far. I'm so excited about this year and starting over and just being the best I can be on YouTube. And I thank you guys so much for giving the opportunity to do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.